With the signal given, messengers rode out into the night to warn their countrymen. But Paul Revere was given a special task. About mid-morning, I am summoned by Dr. Warren. He is the head of the Sons of Liberty. He has called for William Dawes and myself. He told us he has a special job for us. He needs us to go to Lexington to warn John Hancock and Sam Adams. They are our newly elected representatives to Continental Congress. And with them is a chest of papers, documents written by men like myself and Warren and signed. And in English court of law, they can be considered treason and hang us all. Our job this night is only to go to Lexington to get Hancock, Adams, and these papers out of harm's way. I arrived in Lexington an hour later. We covered 16 miles in an hour's time. When I rode up to the Clark House, hollering as I arrived, Sergeant Monroe of the Lexington Militia was standing guard out front. Shh! Quiet! Don't make any noise! They've gone to bed for the night. Don't wish to be disturbed. I said, noise? You'll have noise enough before morning. The regulars are out. I never said the British were coming. We were all British and proud of it. Monroe realized the danger and woke up Hancock and Adams. Dawes arrived about 15 minutes later. Together, we tried to convince Hancock and Adams to be on their way. Now, our night's work was done. This is all that we had been asked to do. So we went down to Buckman Tavern to refresh ourselves. And there, we decided to push on to Concord. It's only eight more miles. Want a job done right? Best do it yourself. So we get on our horses. And as we start out of Lexington, for the first time, we stop at the houses that we pass to warn the inhabitants. As we are doing this, another rider comes by. His name is Dr. Samuel Prescott. He identifies himself as a son of liberty through the use of one of these medallions that I had made up for all of us. Asked what we were about, and we told him. He told us some of the houses this way were still loyalist. Should we knock on the wrong door to the middle of the night, we might be shot. So he comes with us. We finished our work in Lexington, crossed over into Lincoln. And there, as we go down a barren stretch of road, we came to some trees. Four riders sprang out to block our road. We turned to escape. Other riders have circled behind us. We were trapped. Prescott says, make a diversion. I know the area. I can get away. Now, my horse had been used badly this night. She had no run left in her. So I reared my horse up and turned her in a bit of a circle. As the soldiers converged on me, Prescott jumps a fence and across a meadow with Dawes right behind him. Well, poor Dawes got lost in the woods that night, so he never got to Concord. But Prescott did, and the men of Concord were warned. 